How, how's your hair? Your hair's looking great, mate. Don't worry. Would Phil be happy? I don't know. Phil's never really particularly happy with anyone's hair. He's well groomed, that man. Yeah. This is the battlefield. Today I'm playing Joe. Hello. Hey, Joe. Hello. How are you feeling today? Confident. Confident. Wildly confident. There you go. This is rather close to your face. I apologise. Mm. It's very rude of me. This is the terrain and the stuff, and we're going to be playing a mission. Let's do that thing. It's my 2,000 points of mixed chaos. Uh, I've seen various other podcasts that I've started watching, or not podcasts, but rather battle reports that I've started watching now that I've tried to start doing these ourselves. Uh, and I noticed that they talk a lot more about strategies and things that are much more comprehensive than what I'm about to do. But nonetheless, uh, here it is. If you want to see more or know all the intricate details of the army list, the uh, army list itself will be in the description. Uh, but for now, there's that thing, uh, the Skull Cannon, very exciting, a unit of cultists, a unit of devastators with Laz Cannons, although they're not devastators, they're Havocs, two Rhinos, don't be confused by their Iron Warriors colours, they're actually World Eaters today, a unit of Five Berserkers, another unit of Five Berserkers, three units of three Blood Crushers, a uh, Demon Prince of Corn, a Land Raider, that is an Iron Warriors thing, uh, a unit of Havocs with Heavy Bolters, a Dark Apostle, a Chaos Lord on Juggernaut, and there is one of HQ choice lying around, oh no, it's the Demon Prince I already mentioned, that is 2,000 points of uh, mixed chaos. Yeah, the detachments and command. So that's three detachments. So that is a battalion of World Eaters. So that is the two units of Berserkers, which are troops in World Eaters, uh, combined with the 14-man unit of cultists, uh, the Corn Lord on Juggernaut, and the Dark Apostle, uh, and then the two Rhinos, which, as I mentioned previously, are uh, World Eaters, not Iron Warriors. Then it's a spearhead detachment of uh, Iron Warriors. They have the Mark of Slanesh, because why not? Uh, and that consists of the two units of Havocs, the uh, Land Raider and the uh, Chaos Lord. That was the one that I couldn't find. There he is, the Chaos Lord uh, with the Power Sword over there. Um, and then lastly, there is a Demon of Corn detachment, which is a Vanguard detachment, which contains the three units of Skull Crushers. Uh, the Skull Crushers or their Skull Crushers? Blood Crushers. No, Blood no, Crushers, that's it. The skull yeah, Crushers, no. Jesus. Skull the Skull Cannon. And the Demon Prince of Corn. And that's my army, 2,000 points. Nice. Uh, it's uh, 10 command points. Um, and that's that. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Joe, do you want to tell us what's in your army list? I'm uh, not go I'm go you've got to do the weird transitional thing where we hand the camera over to you. Uh -huh. So we'll do that momentarily. Let's, let's hear, hear about what Joe brought. So, uh, my army is two battalions. A custodies one with a shield captain on foot and a shield captain on a bike. Uh, Three units of three custody type men and two units of three bikes. And then I have the battalion of Raven Guard, which is three normal squads, a captain and a lieutenant, and two dreadnoughts of the mortis variety. There you go. With the with with two las cannons each. Uh, it would be 13 command points. But I've used three to make my Space Marine Captain a Chapter Master, because then he gives them all the rerolls to hit. And I've used two uh, to, for my Shield Captain on bike. So he's the victor of the Blood Games, which gives him additional rerolls. Did he do well in the Blood Games, did he? He did. He is the victor. Well, everyone. Do we even know what the Blood Games are? Have we ever looked um, into that? Yes. Um, basically, they collect. Uh, oh, is it the thing where they collect Chaos Space Marines and chuck them into the Golden Palace thing? And yeah, they, they, basically they they let loose aliens and traitors on Earth and they hunt them down and kill them. There you go. And he did well in that, did he? Yeah. I mean, he would do if he was riding one of those around. Oh, you'd hope so. Yeah, because exactly. yeah, uh, he didn't lose him. Because that would be bad. That would be bad. That would be very bad. Mm. There you go. There you go. Very exciting army list you brought yeah. along there. Thank you. Thank you. Before the game begins, we need to determine what type of mission we're going to be playing. So, Joe, how do you want it? On a 1-2-3 uh, Maelstrom or a 1-2-3 Eternal? 1-2-3 three Eternal. 1-2-3 three Eternal. One, two, three eternal. Huzzah! It's a 2. It's Eternal. There you go. Andrew. And then what type of Eternal mission it is? Oh, I have a 2! A 1. Frontline Warfare. Frontline Warfare. That's what we're going to be playing, everybody. Frontline Warfare. Q title and picture of Moa. Frontline Warfare. Oh, 2,000 points of Frontline Warfare. What a treat. Going off to see you. What type of deployment zone we're going to be playing with? Joe, we do the honours? Alright. 
Brilliant, Joe. You got it <laughs> not in the worst place possible. What was the result? It was a four. It was a four. We gave a one. And what's a four, Joe? I don't know. I've got a rule book on me. Brilliant. Well, <laughs> wait a moment and we'll come back with more knowledge. Book. And then Which having only started back. speaking midway through the me pressing record. So you've got to try, start again. Oh, my word. I know. I'm sorry. Have you, have you pressed play? Yeah, you, this okay. is all being recorded. All right, okay. It, it would so have been no I've sense. now found a rule book and it is now Hammer and Anvil. Wonderful. Yes. Um... We need to roll off to see who chooses what side, and then we play subjectives. We do. Should we do that now? Yeah. Da 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 da. Ooh, a, three. a three. Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> a a four. four. A three. I will go at. Uh, 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 I don't know. That end. That end. That end. Good choice. Yes. Let's see what happens. Placing objectives and stuff. No, oh. <laughs> careful of the rakes, Joe. Oh. The danger that the garage brings. The danger. Um, so, what we got here? This is our setup. Uh, my army here uh, is looking very, very angry. Like it wants to get a well big, and truly a stuck big in. Red line of death. Absolutely, absolutely. Up against Joe's emerging forces of custodes here. Uh, we now need to determine which of us will be going first. Joe, if you would be so kind as to pass me a dice. the. Casino dice. Uh, the roll off. A amateur. A five. Uh, it's equal. It's a draw. By the way, I set up before Joe did. That's why that's a thing. And we'll try again. A five. A six. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, here we go one more time, maybe more, who knows? Oh, oh no. two, three. Hey. Do I seize the initiative? Oh, baby. No, no, no. Joe will be going first. Good luck, Joe. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. This is how things are at the very start. Let's see what happens at the end of turn one. Woo! My warlord. Yeah. Uh, my warlord is uh, the one you killed. Oh. So yeah, <laughs> he was the one on the juggernaut. Cause you know he was the biggest. The sensible thing would have been make it that little bugger. Yeah. That was never gonna get stuck in. But I felt really, you know, like if you give him a juggernaut, yeah. he's got to be in charge. <laughs> he's got to be ruling the pack. Uh, so it's the end of turn one. And uh, what happened, Joe? Well, well, <laughs> so. I went first, as we know. As we um, know, that is documented. I started off by getting first blood by killing all of the cultists. That was true, they used to be there, but now um, they're dead. And then my bikes killed a unit of skull crushers. They did also do that, yes. Or blood, blood, bloody skull crushers. Blood crushers. Skull um, cannons, blood crushers. That's, yes. how the, that's okay. the rule. Um, and that was it. And then... And then I handed over to Dan. Indeed, and during my turn, I fluffed a few charges over this side, as you can right. see. Yeah, so made one with the demon print, and I then did. on this side. And then this side, all I did. All of the berserkers charged in. Yeah, all did. of them. All of them. And, and now three of them are alive to tell about the time they tried that, as well as my corn lord, You're... who, despite doing six damage to your uh, victor of blood games, yeah. how many film opponents did he pass, Joe? Uh, all six. six. All six. Five, six fives and sixes. That was pretty amazing. Uh, which, how we loved. And then, how we loved. And then for his troubles, he poked the juggernaut in the face and, and died. And killed it dead. So there you go. So the end of turn one is not looking particularly great well, for I me. Well, I have lost, I've lost two bikes and a single custodian guard. My heart bleeds for you. Oh. My heart bleeds. Which is probably the same points cost as everything that you, you've died. Uh, I doubt it. I sincerely <laughs> doubt it. Well, let's see what happens at the end of turn two. So far, it's uh, it's all to play for. <laughs> but I suspect Joe might be winning. The band. It's all about the band. Got to keep. Got to keep going. So it's the end of turn two. Um, I used to have an army, and now I have a small wall band uh, <laughs> of, vehicles. of vehicles, a skull cannon, and a chaos lord. Uh, so based on that description entirely, I would say it's been going great. How would you say the game has gone thus far, Joe? I I think it's gone really good. You're looking very sweaty, by the way. That is warm. It is soupy. crazy warm here, isn't it? It's, it's soupy sack warm. In I there. know it's it's pretty 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 bad, but there you go. Um, so what happened in turn two? Well, essentially, uh, all the blood crushers that were here and the demon prince got utterly uh, battered. <laughs> By uh, by this uh, units of custodes, yeah. um, that's what happens when uh, when custodes uh, uh, the rhino group charged, up. The, the rhino charged into a squad, 
Yep. And had eight wounds taken off it. Yep, it was done. valiant, it was valiant. He just wanted to get involved. And then over here, I killed some bikes. Let's not, like, you know, let's you, all pretend yeah, you like killed, it's all You here. killed two bikes. I'm doing things. Yeah. I'm making things You're happen. You're participating. I am participating. I roll dice and everything. Um, but there you go. Uh, the dreadnoughts haven't been particularly useful. But then again, they haven't necessarily needed to be because custodes on bikes are mad people and they butcher I everything. Hope, I think now they're going to take part in the game. There's a big juicy land raider. There you go, over. there you go. It's in combat. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I would say by the end of turn three, I will be expecting the entirety of my army to consist of, by some weird sense of uh, series of fortuitous events, that's Skull Cannon and two of these guys. That's what my prediction is going to be for the end of turn three. What do you think, Joe? I reckon, I reckon you have a rhino. Oh, you go rhino. I go rhino. Is that because it's not a priority target for you? <laughs> no, a rhino. Yeah. Um, a chaos lord. Oh, you think a chaos lord as well? And maybe one or two havocs. Well, that's very kind of you, Joe. Well, let's see what happens at the end of turn three. Yeah. I can't imagine that I will have turned this around in any meaningful way. But you never know. Let's see how it goes. Tis the joy of the game. Yeah. Bye bye now. A moth! <laughs> A scary moth! The most action that. I don't know really where I was even going with that. It has been an action packed game. I was going to say the most action my army's ever seen, but then my army wouldn't know about that anymore <laughs> because now it's more or less dead. Uh, so despite uh, my prediction, uh, the only part I got slightly right was that my skull cannon is still alive uh, and my Chaos Lord is still alive, but nothing else is, <laughs> um, and most of Joe's stuff is, so that was good. Uh, so it's the end of turn three. It's fair to assume that short of some sort of miracle, Joe's won this, but we're going to play turn four yeah. and see what happens. See what exciting eventualities take place in this game here. Uh, the Dreadnoughts uh, killed the Land Raider, although they didn't actually they did kill them. all but two wounds. All but two and wounds. And then I had to shoot my entire army at it. It's true. It's true. But that, uh, if you don't have any tank weapons, Land Raiders are bothersome. Are very, very hard to kill. They are. They are. But yet, somehow, it's I still dead. <laughs> 30, 36 bolts around. 36. Um, 40, 40 bolts around into mm. it. And. Um, Hitting on twos. Hitting on twos, re rolling ones, wounding on sixes. Yep. Um, and it was, yeah, it was the third custody bike to take off the last wound. To be fair, and I think as, uh, and I think the, the, one of the other wounds. Was that by Heavy oh. Bolter? Yeah, with a minus one. So there you go. But there you are. That's the end of turn three. Let's see what the end of turn four brings. I wonder. Oh, I wonder. It is mystifying. Fying. Mystifying? I, I mean, I couldn't even. Imagine there what will happen. Mist involved. Absolutely. Let's behold. Bye now. That's very much the end of it. Turn four there. It was over relatively quickly. It I appreciate best. all this time between turns seems relatively immediate to those watching. Um, but this was almost as quick yeah. as the second transition between it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, end of turn four. Joe has tabled. Yeah, the uh, mixed and chaos space marines and all chaos demons. And I've got first blood, slay the warlord, first line blood, breaker. Line breaker. It, I would have all four objectives if it wasn't for me blowing up the skull cannon and then it mortal wounding the unit to death. Here's a funny thing though. I don't know if the skull cannon actually can explode. You just asked me to, and I went, all right, I'll roll a six. Have you got the demon codex there? Let me just. Let's discover whether or not you've scored a hundred percent. That would be that would be a first against you. That would be a first. Oh, I don't know. But for the purposes of those watching this for the very first time, they're assuming this is always the situation. It doesn't explode. It doesn't explode, therefore you've got every single thing. Woo! Max points! Put, put your man back on the thing for Where the sake of there, there he is. There Reclaim is. his place. There you go. Bam. Boom. Good lad. Objective held. Good lad. So there you go. Every objective. Every secondary objective. Uh, so um, what's that? Four, six, eight, nine. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. And I got zero if anyone was interested. Mm. Zero there. Twelve zero, Joe. You did merely do enough wounds to my warlord to kill him. Well, no, I didn't because you ignored them. Yeah. So that doesn't I count. Remember. You can't make that. Like you could say, like if you pass saves and stuff, but, I did, but that's how that is. 
Hang on, let's turn this camera up. We can debate. This is really too quick. We can talk about mass debate. We can absolutely. <laughs> Maybe not. This better would be useful. Mm. Here it is, as it is. Um, yeah, so I lost. That was it, really. My opinion is is that uh, my list was poorly equipped to deal with, uh, with what you had. Oh, no, well, the, the Land Raider does a good job, and Berserkers normally do a very good job, but um, not running into Custodes bikes. No, no. And also, I mean, in the early instances, because of the 24 inches apart that they were, which in most games you are as well, to be fair, yeah. because of the movement of eight of the blood crushers, I was never going to close the gap. Uh, I needed a double six to get the charge off against the guys on the front line. It wasn't going to happen. Well, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even get a charge, first turn charge. No. Nope. It's 20 inches. No. Nope. Mm. So basically, long story short, don't take blood crushers. They're bloody uh, useless. Uh, bonk. You could, you I'm could, so glad that I have nine of them. Yeah. Uh, you, could, you could summon them. Oh, yeah, you could summon them. That's a good option. That is a good option. Um, or you summoned. can put them into a deep strike reserve mm. and they give them a special banner. We need to change hands to charge 3D 6 inches. We need some kind of like selfie stick or something yeah. anyway. Long story short, I lost the trouble. Which is weird for me. No, it's Very not weird. Strange. Joe is the superior gamer. This is the second time He's... in a row. Is this second time in a row? Yeah, best not make a habit of it. Because of the then... however many games you've played, how many wins you've had. The... Oh, that's eight that's eight actually two games you've won this entire year. Two games this year you've won. This year, yes. Out of I don't know how many. I, I had I a very game. strong start of 8th edition because the Chaos Index was very powerful. It was good. It was um, good. And then the Eldar got a codex and then it went down. <laughs> yeah, but I don't play my Eldar anymore because it's just, I don't know. It's silly. Oh, really good fun. Maybe I will next time because clearly I need to because without them I'm terrible. I'm getting I better. Need, yeah. I, need, I need cheaty Elder rules yeah. to win the day. Yeah. Uh, but that's it really. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Have bye a good time. Then. Yeah, have a great time. Whatever you're doing, bye. Yeah. Bye now. Bye.